Uh, now, yes, Anita Rani has been to Bristol to visit a project <coughs> trying to give homeless ex-service men and women the chance to rebuild their lives. You trained in the army to survive anything. I just really didn't expect to have to come back and survive my own streets. Research by a charity has found that as many as one in four homeless people living in the city's hostels are ex-service personnel. It was a nightmare. I've had a, a long 20 years. Went through a lot of um, addiction problems, things like that. I've been homeless, street homeless, for about three years. My girlfriend and I were living under bridges and, and it, just surviving. It was, it was very hard. Being a soldier, it's pretty hard for us to ask for help. It took me years, basically, to uh, accept I had a problem and, uh, and that there were places where I could ask for help. And Lee found that help here on a building site in Bristol. All the builders on this site are ex-members of the armed forces. Since leaving the military, they faced some serious problems. But now they're building their own homes with their own hands and the start of a whole new life. I went in at 16, so... So when you left, how was life? What happened? The thing is, I, I, I was struggling with Afghan because obviously it done a number on me, do you know what I mean? After Afghanistan? Yeah, I, I, I had my issue to the extent of me in my house, not eating, just drinking bottles of vodka after vodka, do you know what I mean? Did shut myself off in the world, just didn't know what to do. How does it feel to be building your own home? There's a sense of achievement that's beyond anything I've ever had, to be fair. Really? Yeah. Do you know what, it's the start I needed when I first came. After the First World War, those returning from the front were promised homes fit for heroes and two million council houses were built over the next two decades. But these days, it seems our heroes are having to do it for themselves and they're doing it with a charity called Community Self Build. The man behind the scheme is former SAS officer Ken Hames. He believes we should all be doing more to deliver our promise to help those who've served their country. The Covenant lays down some very clear principles that we as a society, collectively, have a duty to look after our armed service personnel, both when they're in the military and when they come out. Uh, the come out bit is a difficult bit. Should it be the military's responsibility to help that ease that transition? The trouble is the armed services are so, so busy. They've been committed for the last 20 years to combat. Meantime, they've been drawn down, they're smaller. Now, you could say the MOD should then step in, but again, they're, they're stretched to, to the limit. So this is where, you know, the Covenant has kicked in. Has it kicked in, though? I mean, do, is the Covenant working? For me, it means communities and agencies coming together. i would seen homeless veterans on the street and in the woods, and I thought this would be fantastic for them because they can build their own house and get training at the same time. They'll get to rent their homes as long-term secure tenants. The site's building on the success of an earlier project in the city back in 2012. The 14 flats here were the first affordable accommodation to be built in Britain by and for homeless ex-service personnel. Anita is staying in one while she helps build her new home. So what brings you to this project, Anita? About 18 months ago, I came homeless. It was a culture shock, to be honest, just having to stand on your own two feet, I suppose. Some people find it easy, some find it hard. But what about this military covenant that says that as soldiers who dedicate their lives for the country, you will be looked after? Do you think that's there? Not as much as it should be. I've not come across it, to be honest, until I came here. It feels like coming home and you are coming home aren't you I mean yes. somewhere yes. over there is going to be your yes. home what will it mean for you to have a home being able to shut my own front door and just say no you can't come in this is mine and put my feet up and not have to worry walk around barefoot if I want to simple things just getting back to normal being on site now is great. It's, it's like being back in the family again. Being in a position to be able to uh, say to my kids that, you know, I've got somewhere and I'm doing a lot better. This will be the first time I have ever had anywhere that's mine and they can come and stay. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. See you on Monday. 
How soon will they be able to move into the new houses then? Well, the foundations have just gone down. Bricks at the end of this month. The roof goes on in May, which is when we will go back to do part two. Good. Then furniture goes in in September and they will be moving in in October. Oh!